So what up guys? Uh, I'm sitting at home. I'm a little bored. If you watched my Black Friday purchase videos, whatever vlog, this was one of the items I bought. <laughs> I'm just looking at this now and it says three over three feet wide and I bought two of these things. So sweet Jesus, this is going to be huge. But uh, I figured I would uh, give this a whirl and see how much I hate this and uh, try to put it together. So uh, let's get into it, shall we? So it dawned on me that tomorrow is D-Day on YouTube. Uh, if you don't know what that is, supposedly it, the Great Purge is happening tomorrow. Uh, so this video could be all for naught, but uh, it's not really the reason why I'm making it. I, doing that up pure boredom, but uh, tomorrow uh, could be the end for a lot of your favorite YouTubers, including myself, so this could be our last moments <laughs> together, let's see, alright, we got a big clump of stuff, I hope that isn't the instructions right there, so it comes together in two sections, Hopefully this is not complicated, and they're bound together, so I'm going to just start on this piece here. Hopefully. Okay. Well, you open this section up, and there's the people, the crowd. We got a WWE Live sign. I don't know. We got that. So, okay. Oh, wow, all right. This looks like it all folds together or folds up or... I don't know. So, as I sit here and look, this looks to be the base uh, uh, bottom section. So I'm going to try and put this together real quick. There is no instruction manual here. So as you get into it, you get to pop out these little sections here, which why when I fold the bottom piece up, of course they slide into these holes. Let's pop out these sides over here too. There we go, we got one. We got two. So that was easy peasy. You can see the pieces sticking out. Uh, I don't know uh, if you fold those up later on and maybe tape them, stop them from coming out, but I don't think they will. You basically have the first part of the base of your background crowd scene. So I'm a little confused right now because I think I'm done. I just have to put these into the background effect but when I fold it up there's nothing to keep it from folding back down on the back it's just hollow there is this second piece here of stuff uh, that's why it's falling over because it's sitting on a pen uh, but it looks identical to the first piece I think this is just the second stand so I'm going to cut this open here and try and figure out what the heck is going on so let's get into this and see what we got here. Yeah, it just, it looks like the exact same thing that I just put together. So you do get two of these or maybe, okay. Okay, but uh, all right, I'm a little confused. It is the exact same piece. So you do get two of these for whatever price you get. But, okay, this is the entire stand. What holds the stand up? What keeps it from folding back over? There's nothing here in the back. And it looks like there's supposed to be stuff there to connect it to. Okay, let me pause it and try to figure this out. Okay, so some progress. This stops it from folding over in the front. These two are the back bracers. Uh... This, the bottom one is a little bit more complicated because the hole does not fit the cardboard peg part here. So there was a little tearing on each side. I don't know if later on I'm going to fold these flaps over and tape them. 
because like otherwise you have like these sectional pieces sticking out. So as I progress here, I'm going to see how it looks and make a decision on that later. So then once you get the back brace part figured out, you are left with just the four sections here, the WW Live sign and the crowd. And as we can see here, we have one, two, three, four sections left. Um, so I'm going to start putting them together and hopefully this, uh, geez, okay, this looks a little, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna pause again. As you can see here, you're gonna have more holes to poke through, so you, uh, you wanna find something small enough to poke through, make it easier to punch them out because it's not particularly easy. It's not hard, but it goes a lot quicker if you have something to go through the hole. So I'm gonna start putting the place cards or the placements in. So progress, we got this in. This did take a little bit because there are hole punches here. You gotta put it in. You actually have to bend the, the cardboard in multiple places here to get it to fit in. And I do find if you actually, these are usual, that's what they look like. If you actually angle them in, you avoid tearing and it goes a lot easier. As you can see, like this is another one that's gotta be folded. But uh, now let's go and put the crowd in and pretty much it's over with. Okay, so finished product here. As I went down and got further into this, I realized uh, that I hadn't clipped these sections in, which made it harder to go back and do. Uh, like I said, you're gonna be left with these little overhanging things, so I guess if you're really picky about it, you'd go and fold these in and tape them down or something. But this is the finished product. See, because I have them folded down there on the bottom and it's not level. But anyways, advice here is you definitely start top to bottom. I did bottom to top. And when you get to these sections right here, that made it very complicated and I had to basically pull everything out and put it back in and it made it a lot harder than it needed to be. This isn't really complicated. Um, it can be a little tricky, but I mean, that's your instructions right there and there ain't much to go on. Um, but I did it pretty simple here and literally it took me about five minutes. I think I'm gonna do the other one here just for S's and giggles and knock it out of the way. Uh, and Let's see how that one goes. So I'm about two minutes in, and this was maybe the hardest part. I already have the stand up. Like I said, if you prep beforehand, you knock all the punch holes out. It goes a lot quicker. Uh, best thing to do here is to pinch these two pieces together and then put the backing on, and it unfolds, and it locks in perfectly. These, This is probably the hardest part, hardest ones to put on because these are so thick and they, there's no give to them, and you can't really, like I said, my advice was to lean the piece in and then pull the other one. You can't do it there. But like I said, two minutes in, I already have the board up. I don't even need to follow the diagram at this point. It's pretty simple. Second time around, you don't forget this part like I did last time. This is very hard to fold down on top without causing damage, especially when you already have everything in place. And I caught it again this time. I almost started putting all these pieces in before that was felled down. It's very important, you gotta catch that stuff. Also here at the bottom, like I did in the last one, I didn't see this at all and I already had the stand done and it's very hard to get that peg in when you already have the pieces together on the, on the, on the, the stand. So like I said, if you remember this stuff, it goes a lot quicker. So guys, there it is. Took me less time to do the second one. You do the first one, you don't even need to go by the little diagram. I did it about three minutes tops. So there's your final product. I do have another set here to make, so I'm gonna have an entire backdrop of a crowd scene. I mean, so there are those backdrops that crowd, uh, they look like arenas and stuff that I, I, I think they sell for a pretty ridiculous price. So basically I just got one for $16. Because I have, a, like I said, I have a whole other set. This is three feet. Or no, this is, how are they averaged three feet? Why they were advertised? This is not three feet. I don't get where, maybe it's three feet total. But anyways, when I put the next one together, basically the heel backdrop on my table will be covered with this scene here. So, like I said, right now it's on ringside for $8 a pack. You get two backgrounds. So, like I said, I got it. I have another set, 16 bucks total. Those professional backdrops that look like arenas i think they sell for 30 40 50 bucks so you do the math and this was easy it looks good and it's sturdy once it's done i just have to do some final touches on taping some of the backs up 
just as it's in, it's set. It's just you want to secure it properly, have everything taped down, not have everything, have anything sticking out. I mean, because you can have the edge get caught on something here, and then you lose that piece. So, yeah, you just do a final sweep with some tape, and you're good to go. So that's my little tutorial here on the pop-up crowd. What are they called? The authentic scale crowd pop-up. So, oops, let me do that here. Get a little crowd shot there. There's my cat. Great cat. Now you just made my video a kid video. Thanks, Kappa. So anyways, guys, that is it for now. Hope you like this little tutorial for the crowd pop-up. Hope it helps. Uh, if you buy one, it helps your process go easy. Like I said, it took 10 minutes tops to do this. Maybe eight. So that's it for now, guys. Tomorrow is YouTube D-Day. Um, they're going to start deleting accounts tomorrow. Uh, small creators like myself could be on the chopping block. So if something happens to my channel, you know the reason why. Um, I thought maybe I'd make a separate video addressing this. I don't know if I will. Maybe I should. Um, but that is it for now, guys. I should leave the political stuff or whatever out. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment. Hit the notification bell. I will hopefully see you again. <laughs> Bye.